Photosynthesis is an incredibly important process for plants as it generates the energy they need to survive and grow. A vital ingredient for photosynthesis is light, yet contrary to popular belief, most plants do not like intense light. This is because excess high light can damage the photosynthetic machinery and cause photoinhibition, a light-induced decrease in photosynthetic capacity. This means the plant is unable to carry on photosynthesizing unless repairs take place, wasting valuable time and energy. In order to prevent damage, plants reduce the amount of light they capture, they down-regulate light harvesting. This process, called photoprotection, limits the amount of energy that goes towards photosynthesis and is vital for photosynthetic functioning. Hi, I'm Julia and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Cambridge working as a plant scientist in the Cromdike group. And today we're going to visualize photoprotection by looking at chlorophyll fluorescence. The first step is to pick a leaf for the experiment. We are using Nicotiana tabacum because of its nice broad leaves. We then cover part of the leaf to protect it from exposure to high light and illuminate it with high light using an artificial light source for around two minutes. This light is about 10 times stronger than the plant's normal conditions, so wearing eye protection is pretty important. Although you cannot see it with the naked eye, most of the leaf is now adapted to light conditions whilst the covered part is still adapted to darkness. When leaves absorb light, a small fraction is emitted again as fluorescence. This fluorescence occurs at a higher wavelength than the absorbed light and can be measured with a special camera. Using a fluorescence imager, we can visualize the chlorophyll fluorescence of the leaf. You can see differences in the fluorescence between the area of the leaf that was covered and the surroundings. The area exposed to high light has down-regulated light harvesting, as less light is being harvested by the leaf, less light is also emitted as fluorescence, explaining the lower levels of fluorescence. Meanwhile, the area that was left in darkness shows high fluorescence, as light harvesting is operating efficiently. You can even see how light harvesting is down-regulated in real time. Areas of the leaf that previously had high fluorescence begin to reduce their fluorescence. Photoprotection is just a small piece of the complex puzzle that is photosynthesis. But understanding how plants protect against high light means we can work to make those protection mechanisms more efficient and increase the photosynthetic efficiency of our crops. That means that effectively the same plant with the same water, soil and light resources could grow faster and give us more harvestable produce.